For a second day in a row, Northeast Ohioans took to the streets after yesterday's ruling by the Supreme Court that turned over Roe v. Wade. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. Hundreds of people have been protesting the end of the landmark abortion case. News 5's Catherine Ross shows us the highly charged reactions on both sides of this debate. My body! My the shouts echo in downtown Cleveland for a second day. Saturday afternoon, all ages fill Willard Park in protest of Friday's Supreme Court ruling. It makes me sad for my country. That's, that's really all I have to say now. And it makes but. me sad that my daughter has fewer rights than I did at her age. Mary Kay Fink says her 23-year-old daughter is in a similar situation her 99-year-old mother was in nearly 50 years ago. I went through the first fight and I was very, very happy when it passed. And here I am again. The family is among hundreds protesting and marching in the We Won't Go Back rally. I think that it's very important for women and anyone who can have kids to have control over when they have their kids. Our bodies, our choice. Saturday afternoon, more marching and emotions running high. Now there are some people here in Northeast Ohio who are celebrating or at least optimistic about Friday's Supreme Court decision. They believe this is an opportunity for Ohio. It's a celebration that human lives are supposed to be protected by law. And if that happens, then we should celebrate. And by the way, the celebration goes on, on, on for years and years into the future of ensuring that women get the help they need so they don't feel forced into an abortion. Joseph Meisner with Lawyers for Life says he and other anti-abortion advocates have been fighting for decades for this moment. 63 million lives killed since 1973. So that's quite a burden of blood for our society to carry. Friday's ruling leaves abortion regulation up to the states. In Ohio, the attorney general says House Bill 99, which was tied up in the courts, will now take effect. It bans most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. Some politicians say abortion access will shape upcoming elections. What I'm going to be working on is getting Democrats into the governor's position and getting getting um, folks all the way down the ticket to be able to bring our voice actually to the state house. And it's already shaping public discourse. This is an issue of the heart. You know, there are a lot of people getting you know, if you have very strong feelings about it um, on both sides and the key to me is to try to make abortions a very rare thing. You know, be sure that we do support the sanctity of life. Her body, her choice. The issue, conversation and feelings likely won't go away anytime soon. In Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News 5.